Welcome to part four of our wildlife pond build. In this episode, we're going to be putting a lot of the edging on around the side of the pond and also creating the beachy area, which basically just involves tipping cobbles into here. So what we're doing now is filling this up with cobbles and also taking the big flat stones that we collected from the quarry and just laying them loosely where we think the probably is going to go. Once we get those as far around as we can, we'll then start cementing them on. Now that we've got most of the edging stones roughly laid in, we're going to start laying them on a fairly stiff bed of mortar, which is just sand and cement. Um, generally mix it five or six sand to one cement. Whilst putting these in, we're really treating each one as a, a separate entity, leaving a, leaving a nice deep gap behind here. We're going to fill that with soil and plant up with rushes and spreading plants to really soften the edges. What we're doing here is allowing a little bit of spare cement, putting a cobble of various size in, just to create a little bit more interest where the stones join. That leaves us a little pocket here, here, in which we're going to fill with soil and plant. That's the sides done now, we've got both sides done, all level. We've left nice big planting pockets in places which will fill with soil and then plants. That'll be in the next video. But um, here's an overview of the pond, including the beach, which is basically just a collection of cobbles. Again, it's going to be planted, so it will look better once it's planted. This is the bare bones of the dipping platform. So 
again that's probably is going to be in the next video and this is the finished edging filled in the cracks between the stones with mortar and then pushed little cobbles in just to give it kind of like a river washed sort of a look it gives quite a nice effect the liner will be cut back but it'll be the very last thing that happens so this is the beach area we've got a couple of big cobbles just to break up the monotony of all the smaller ones this is the side that we've just done this afternoon just kind of mirrors what's happening on the other side broken up by the dipping platform pond can go up another two or three maybe even four inches but we've kept it low just so it doesn't interfere with any of the cement work but it's definitely coming together now thanks for watching part four of how to build a wildlife pond hope you enjoyed it um, in part five I'm going to be doing the dipping platform and also building the hibernaculum where amphibians will take refuge and also hide out the winter so Join me in part five. Thanks for watching.